Now we're going to do the construction for a perpendicular bisector. To do this, you need to open up your compass to some length which is greater than half of the length you're going to bisect. Now, in truth, that's the rule, but if you get it really close to half, it's not very useful. The two points are too close together. It just doesn't work very well. So generally, people like to do about three quarters. Some people like to do the full thing, but anything greater than half, I recommend about three quarters. From there, we're going to draw two very large arcs, one from each side of the line segment. So from here, I'm going to draw one large arc this way. And from this side, I'm going to draw one large arc this way. By drawing these two large arcs, I have created two points of intersection. And those points of intersection, I just mark with my ruler the perpendicular bisector. It's perpendicular and bisects. Now I have two line segments on this page because there is another way that people like to do this rather than make two large arcs. Some students are really uncomfortable making two really large arcs like that. So instead they notice that, hey, the only part we really care about are the intersection points. So instead of making two really large arcs, how about if I just make one arc this way and a little one here and come over to this side and make a little one here and a little one here. That way I don't have to make such really large arcs and I still get the right answer. That's perfectly okay. If that's better for you, by all means, go do it that way.